Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial and we're going to make some VFX setup here as you see on the screen and um, it's yeah something more abstract and uh, I find it really fun to do something like this and basic stuff you can change the colors have different stuff of course and then the resolution if you want the setup to be a little bit, little bit smaller you can have that but then of course you need to change the other variables that I have not really going to cover in this tutorial but as you see here it's kind of two positions that is uh, going in a circle one in the top and one in the down and um, yeah so if you want it even bigger you won't really see anything because the, they are in here somewhere so you need to kind of make the effect bigger from the circles or doing the circles bigger but, um, you will figure that out. I'm just going to show you the basics. So yeah, let's get started and do this setup. So we're going to start in an empty scene first. And you could, of course, just use the default cube, this one, right? But you see, this one has some sharp corners, these sharp corners here. And um, we're going to make a new Houdini file. So either you use the cube inside Unity and you will have some hard edges or we're going to in Houdini just make a, a new box with a little bit rounded corners. And I, I like the effect much nicer when you have a little bit smooth corners. But you could of course do it in whatever DLC you want, Blender, or what you use, I don't know, maybe Pro Builder. But the important stuff is that you need to have it, you need to have it in the center, so the pivot is in the center. And we are not going to use the ground, and we're going to make our own new one. So, first off, you make a geometry node like this, and... Inside this one, we make a box and we just do poly bevel like this. So here you just decide the distance of it like this and then you do how many divisions you want. So yeah, I think this is actually going to be pretty okay. Maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to add normals to this. So we have normals and I don't think we had have any need for UV bit, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then we're going to do transform. Um, we need the transform. And the reason is we're going to do it 100 times to compensate the scale difference between um, Houdini and Unity. So in the transform, we make it 100 scale up and then we do a um, rock FBX output. So this uh, will put the file next to the hip file and we're going to save the hip file in here. So I'm just going to um, copy this path, path or path. I don't know what's the correct term way to say it. So, yeah, so first we're going to save the file. So we save the file. So now it's going to be inside the Unity, the Unity folder. And that's nice because then we find it easily. So now you see if I middle click here, you see it's saved in the same. I middle click back and I want the file to be this. So if I save it, then in here you see we have the Houdini file and the mesh. So this is the mesh and I like the smooth round corner we have. And we're going to also do a shader for this. And I'm just going to create... Um, Shadograph, URP, lit shadograph. 
I'm gonna have the same name for that one. And um, we're gonna create, uh, yeah, actually we don't need to create the material. I'm just gonna put this one here. So if we go in here, we just need to um, make a color. So, and we're gonna make sure that this color is um, HDR. So we're gonna have it like this. And then here we're gonna have, um, I want metallic and smoothness as well. So I'm just gonna do float, metallic, not metallica. We're gonna do metallic and metallic gonna be a slider. And we're gonna put the default to 0 0.1. Then I'm just gonna copy paste this one and do smoothness. To this one and that's also the smoothness is also 0 0.1 as a default and this is everything we're going to have in this shader and we save it and actually i'm just going to do the default to some kind of lime greenish keshile in turkish or something i don't know um oh maybe i said wrong I have a girlfriend who teach me Turkish. Anywho, um, so this one is working. And now, let's see. So we have this one set up. So now we can just delete this one. And we're going to start with the VFX setup. Visual effect graph. Um, yeah. So we're going to do the minimum system, create. And I'm just going to have the same name for this one too. And we open it up. So we have the default set up and here we're going to, um, let's see. Um, so we are only going to um, spawn this one time and in the spawn system, we're going to do, actually, we can just make it big for now. So here we're going to do in the spawn system, I hit space and then I see spawn. We're going to have a single burst. It's going to be a one time thing. So we're going to here add a resolution. This is going to be an integer. So we're going to resolution so the thing is the resolution is uh, let's see no it's not is it like this oh yeah no. where do i see it hmm I'm trying to figure out where I do the min and max. Is it the properties? No. Hold up. Wait, wait. Oh yeah. So not attributes. We're going to de delete that one. We, we're doing it in properties. So add again, property. We're going to make an integer. And this is going to be resolution. And the resolution, we're going to do default value of 10. And I'm just going to do a range of this one from Let's say 1 to 30. So value, let's do 10. That's our default. And so the thing is, because we're doing a box, we need, we need X, I, and Z. So the resolution is going to be the width. So X is going to be 10. And then we're going to do x multiplied by z multiplied by i to get the total amount of particles we're going to do so we just do multiply and do it um 
we need to do a power actually because we actually multiply with ourselves so we need to do that three times so this means we need 1000 particles if we're gonna have a resolution by 10 by 10 by 10. so now we know the correct amount of particles and um for now let's see we can just do here we're gonna do a shape let's do i want this uh, set position no oh in here so in this one here we press space and do set position sequential three-dimensional so here we do we have count so we do 10 by 10 by 10 and here we do the size 5 by 5 and we can have the scene here in the corner so we see what's going on so if we save this one now and then we pull the system into the scene and here you see we're starting to have something perfect and what's going on, you, we only see 64 dots here. And the reason is we are up here in the um, resolution, we're doing 10 pieces. So that's supposed to be 1000 here, I don't know why it is. It's supposed to be 1000 here. So we're spawning thousands, so we need at least have thousand in capacity. So I'm going to make a million here. So now we have all the particles here. So these also are the particles, but they are not mesh. They are not the cube we did. They are a quad at the moment. So we're going to remove this one and we're going to make a mesh lit. So particle URP lit mesh. This is the one we want. Actually, this is not the what we the one we want because I want to use my own shader that uh, we did. You can use this, of course, and put the mesh in here, the one you made. But we are gonna do uh, shader. We're gonna do this output particle shader graph mesh. And the reason I want this one is um, actually, well, the shader graph we made here. One thing that we need to do that I, that I realized I forgot is to support VFX graph. So we need to tick this one and save it. And then we will go back here. Uh, shader graph is empty. So we made our shader graph here. So if we open it up, this is the one that we need here. Um, here. So now we have our shader in here. You see the color and the metallic and smoothness. And also we have this box we made and um, I'm going to um, do this read and write. So that's checked. And that's because uh, it needs to be allocated in the memory. I don't really know if you need to take this now or not, but in the past you needed to. And then the mesh here, then you just take the mesh and put it in here. So now we have our own mesh here. So if we look in the scene, you see we have the we have them here. So I'm gonna pause the tutorial tutorial here, and in the next one I'm gonna set up everything so we have the nice setup as you saw in the beginning. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.